Hi guys, it's Shami. So today I'm doing a new collaboration with Christy Sabaluski and um, Pim from Pita Nito. Um, they both have um, YouTube channels and I was invited to take part in their monthly plan with me, kind of going over our planners and explaining to you kind of how we organize and hopefully you're inspired to to start planning a little bit and you get ideas and you get um, just inspired by our planner. So I'm going to share with you mine. I will put iCards up so you can click on those and you can go to their channels. I'll also put it in the description box below and I really hope you check them out because their journals and planners are so beautiful and I think that you'll truly enjoy and be inspired by their work. Okay, so I'm going to share with you mine and I'm so honored to be a part of it. Um, Pam is really the reason why um, I started planning again because she's been doing it for a few months, her and Christy, and um, I saw hers and um, and I thought that is such a great idea. Like if you look back at her old videos, you'll see that I left a comment and um, I really thought, and it was amazing how she explained how much just freedom she felt when she had her life a little planned out and when I was in high school and in college in my early 20s I had a planner and it was just a really beautiful thing you know to to kind of um, keep up with things and to be organized in the tasks that I needed to do but I just kind of got away with that so um, so it's so I'm so happy that I kind of got back involved with it so so Pam, it's crazy because Pam inspired me and then I saw the Southern Girl design and how she did her planner, mixed media style, and I combined those together. So it's pretty awesome. <laughs> okay, and Christy's planners are beautiful. I watched her one for July and um, she does a lot of art in her um, planners, which is amazing. So you'll definitely enjoy her videos for sure. So make sure you check them out. Okay, so um, this is my planner. I did alter it. I got it from Staples. It was like $10. If I would have waited another month, I would have been able to get one cheaper because now everyone has them for back to school. But when I went, I think in early, in late June, like there was nothing available. But I'm super happy with this one and I'm so glad that I got it. So um, yeah, so it works out great. Um, it is bound with um, a coil, so that's good. And I altered the front and the back just with cardstock. And there's a video if you want to see how I did that. And I wanted to put Be Inspired because that's what I want to do is have, um, to just have every, all my information that I need to know, all my plans in one place, and to be able to be inspired by that. Okay, so just want to kind of show you. So this planner is super awesome. And I put, I am like the sticky note queen. So I use tons of sticky notes and stick them all over this planner. Um, so this is ideas and products that I want to sell for my craft show. So I wrote all of that down on a sticky note and it's here for now and I will find a place to put it. And then this is an idea for a video series that I have coming up. So I just get inspired and I kind of write things down randomly. And the problem that I was having when I didn't use my planner is that all the those little bits of pe piece of paper I would lose them or something would happen to them and I couldn't find them and then I lose kind of all that thought process that I was going through and all that you know thought process so um, I know I use stick it notes and I stick them in here and I will kind of put them where they belong in a little while but um, I definitely love sticky notes so I use a ton of them and I have a ton of them and this has personal information, so you could fill out, you know, address, phone number, all that stuff. Um, I have not filled that out. And then dates to remember, and I'll fill that out later. But this was my first month, was July, and I altered this page, and this was super fun. Um, you know, I use stencils, and I have a lot of stuff on here um, just to remember that I need to do. And it's been awesome, it's been great, and I can go here and look at the stuff that I need to get done and it's all in one place and um, yeah so it's great so that's what I do and I kind of do this part first so I go to the monthly spread first and I kind of mark things down like kind of general things like if I'm having a yard sale or if I'm having a collaboration with another youtuber or I need to mail something out or something like that it's not very detailed it's pretty like okay 
kind of the minimal of information and then I go more into detail on the day or the the day of the week that this event is happening okay and so then um, this is the first week of July you know it started on the 27th and it went to the third and yeah and this was my first spread which I love so I use lots of paints jelly prints butterflies from happy mail this little flower sticky note and I even put sticky notes um, on my weeks too because I like to write things down and I do do color coding so I use a whole bunch of highlighters too um, and these really help a lot because um, I have learning disabilities and I was blessed enough to be able to go to a cognitive speech therapist and um, I developed a system with color and with um, with numbers that helps me um, to keep information organized so that I can kind of move it around to where it needs to be moved around to and then when I glaze it the week I can see well yellow means YouTube okay so if I'm thinking about something that I need to do for YouTube or I need to make sure that it's done I can go here and see that I highlighted a few things in yellow and um, I know that that means YouTube pink means that I have some type of appointment or meeting with someone so everything that's in pink I highlight with that then once that is completed I do use a check mark I don't know if you can see one there I didn't for this week but all this stuff is completed but I use a check mark and that signals to me that that task is complete that I don't need to shuffle it around to another day or another week or whatever okay so that's what I do and then this is July 4th through the 10th with my fabulous little birdie that I got from Helen in Happy Mail. Thank you, Helen. I love that little birdie. He's so cute. Yes. And again, jelly print squashy tape. I use some of my DIY um, stickers, mixed media stickers, and stenciling. And again, I had an appointment with DirecTV. And um, yeah, so... I highlighted that in pink. Let me bring it up a little bit, maybe so you can see better. And then there's yellow. So that's for the live show that I did. And then I wrote some stuff on my S little sticky note that I attached. And yeah, this was stuff that I needed to buy. So I make lists of things that I need to buy for my YouTube channel, for projects that I'm doing, so and so and so and so, and I put them on there. And then that week, um, I did shop for all that stuff, so it's good. Okay. Yeah, so it's good. And then I also put like little prompts, like on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, I try to do some type of sharing on social media. So I put that in there too, and that just prompts me, like, okay, Shami, you need to do that. That's a goal of yours. That's something that you wanted to do um, for this upcoming month or whatever, so make sure you get it done. And so this is the out. next page and this one I felt kind of in the stars <laughs> so I used lots of stencils star stencils and I used um, I did a galaxy kind of painting or background and then I used these DIY star stickers and um, yeah so this is a super fun page it makes me happy and it's in purple which is my favorite color in the world so this definitely makes me happy and um, I love to use um, sticky notes so this is kind of private information so I flip those up so you can see it but um, like for addresses and that kind of stuff um, I use a sticky note and I have this little pad this one I use the most with my sticky notes in it and um, yeah perfect and then what I'll do is I'll find a place to put these and I filled this up, my little flip out, with information too. And I just have to make sure that I um, merge that into future weeks or months or whatever, depending on um, what the information is. Okay. So again, I kind of know this was a um, week that was full of YouTube stuff because I see tons of yellow. So I know automatically that that means YouTube. And yeah, and I just kind of wrote things down, and you can see here that for this one I did much more check marks, which means that I got a lot of stuff done, which is awesome. But it's so much fun, and I just feel so much better. And then here I wrote down just a few scriptures and quotes that, you know, that I wanted to hang on to. 
So, um, like this one says, nothing is really lost by by a life of sacrifice. And that's by Henry, and I can't read his last name because I have horrible handwriting, but that's okay. I'll figure it out. <laughs> and then there was a scripture, Matthew 10, 39, and that was one that my friend Carl gave me. Um, yeah, that I was really touched by. So I wanted to, you know, remember that and keep that in a place, um, yeah, in my planner. So that's cool. And I just jot down random things, like ideas that I have um, for future videos, you know, what I'm going to do for live shows, things that I need to start on, that type of thing. So it's fun. Okay. Ready? And then, again, I use sticky notes. So this is some stuff that I needed to buy for my craft show. And um, this was a pretty mellow week. I just did lots of video creating. I did not write it down, though, because I was already scheduled. Um, so I didn't really have to worry about that. So, yeah. And this is July 18th through the 24th. And um, I got to use this beautiful Happy Mail from a friend that sent this to me loan. Um, she makes this beautiful paper, um, I think it's from photo paper, and it's so gorgeous, so I incorporated that into it too. And then I made, I added these adorable birds, and I made this branch, and again, did lots of stenciling, and then added washi tape and so on. And then I have a flip out too, and I put all the videos that I needed to create for this week, which I did get done. And I didn't write much on this side, but that's okay, and I went to go visit my friend. Yeah, and I didn't do much highlighting on this one, and it's because I totally forgot, but that's okay. okay. And then this is this week, which has been super busy for me. <laughs> so you will see some highlighting, All right? Okay, and then this was an appointment, so I'll show you. I'll mark that in pink. Because those are important things that I had to mail out. And then this was an appointment too. That's about craft show. And then I filmed the butterfly tutorial, which was so fun. And then all this other stuff was kind of YouTube stuff. Okay. Oh, and this is for this one. I am going to use purple because this has to do with my friend Samantha. So I'm gonna put that there okay so yeah I use colors and that just makes it better for me so this is July 25th through the 31st which I love and I decided to do mixed media pansies for that part and again stenciling lots of um, color with acrylic paint I try to make grass which turned out pretty cool it just really fun and colorful and it makes me happy when I look at this planner. And that was the main thing is that those other planners, you're not really that happy, you know, or at least I'm not. It's just like kind of black and white and it's dull and it doesn't make you want to use it. But this is kind of like a cross between a planner and an art journal. And it makes me happy every time I look at it. And I think that's the biggest thing about your planner. And you'll see that Christy and Pam have different styles, but it works for them. It makes them happy, which is great. So I think you just have to kind of come up with your own style and see how it works for you. So again, lots of YouTube stuff. Um, I want to do a birthday challenge for my channel, which no one has to send me anything, but I'm kind of working out the details of how I want to make it kind of fun for you guys. And then, um, yeah, just some other stuff that I want to work on. So, yeah, and I wrote that down in this little flip out, which I love. And, yeah, and I'll definitely use more of the stickers. Now, for August, I do want to show you August. And the reason why, because you'll see it for the next video, is that um, this is what I do because um, I don't want to write things in because I don't know what my layout's going to be yet. Like, this is my July monthly layout. Um, so what I do is I get these little flags. And I think I got this at Big Lots and it was like a dollar for all of this, for the sticky notes and for the flags, but you can get the flags at the dollar store too. And I just write in the information on these. And then once I decorate on my August month, I will be able to um, incorporate all of these things into my month.
okay so hopefully that makes sense like I have a craft show on August 13th so I put a note there and um, I'm gonna do a live event on the 4th and on the 9th and then I have a YouTube consultation with someone so that's on there too and I will decorate this page and I will add those appointments on there okay so I just have really enjoyed this process so much. I do have one of these little bookmarks that you just pull out and I already have paint on it. And yeah, and I just put it in the week that I'm on and I'm ready to go. And these are great because it does have tabs too. So it goes through all the months and weeks. And then you get back here and it has um, your phone numbers and addresses. And then it has these nifty little dividers too, so you can divide things, and one has notes. So it's really fun to use. And then there's a little pocket too that I can stick things in. Eventually I'll probably make a dashboard, but I haven't decided if I want to do that or when I'm going to do that, but um, this is really working for me and I love it. So yeah, so it's awesome. It's really cool. Um, I can find all my information. It's in one place, which is great, and I find that I'm using it more, that I'm getting done the things that I need to get done, um, that it's not so much of a stretch, and that I'm not double booking myself or planning things on the same day, you know, and getting overwhelmed that way. Um, yeah, it's just been an unbelievably beautiful lifesaver, and um, yeah, and I'm happy, you know, with how it's serving me, and um, I haven't done like diet things or anything like that. Maybe that's something that I will incorporate in my planner, but um, for now, just kind of the daily events and things that I need to get done and appointments that I have, you know, are what this planner is mostly going to be for. But it'll change. And I do have this system. And then for my YouTube channel, I do just have a big clipboard, and that also has the days on it too. I'll show you that really quick. Okay. Like this is for July. And what I do here is again, I do my highlighting system and I have a key right down here. And then I have it on clipboard and I kind of pencil in and write in pen all the videos and things that I'm working on basically. Ideas I put on sticky notes, so and so and so and so. So, um, I will kind of start out here and then all my YouTube stuff gets transferred here. Okay. But it's good to, I'm glad that I have it in two places just in case something happens. So that's great. Perfect. And see that's for August. And I did want to say too, one thing that I do use is I use a pencil. So all the things that you see in pen on these pages were first written in pencil and that's just in case it changes, I can just erase it or I can go over it and pin and make it permanent. But um, especially for YouTube stuff, if it changes or I decide not to post that video or whatever I'm working on or an appointment gets moved um, to another day, I can just erase it and change it, you know, to a different day. Um, so the, this is a very good tool, is a pencil, <laughs> which is great. So no crossing out or anything, okay. So I hope that I inspired you guys. I hope it was easy to follow. Sorry if I blabbered on, but I really wanted to um, do an in-depth kind of plan with me in real time um, so you guys could kind of see my thought process behind this planner. And I hope that I inspired you. And make sure that you check out Christy and Pam's videos. I will put the links below. Um, they're two very wonderful women, and I know that you will love um, how they use their planners and you will find so many great and wonderful tips from them okay guys so have a great day there'll be a video later today um that i'm sure that you will enjoy um so i will see you guys later have a wonderful weekend and if you're interested i do the weekly spreads every sunday so you can come back and um, look at me do a spread on sunday um and hopefully you'll enjoy that and leave me a comment okay I'll see you guys next time. Have a fabulous day. Bye-bye. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and tell me um, how you use your planner. I'd love to hear. I'd love to hear about what you guys are doing. Um, you inspire me, so it's always good to hear from you. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.